It's now time for some Python on hardware. All right, this week um, we have CircuitPython 7.3.3. It is released. Um, you know, minor changes. Um, please check it out. Uh, you know, working on eight now, beta, alpha, right? We're working it's, on eight al what, alpha beta. Sorry, alpha yeah. beta. Working on eight beta, which is a lot of Wi-Fi stuff. But we're yeah. as we find bugs, we still backport them to the stable seven XX series, which yeah. is what's going on here. So if you want to uh, check out the latest, it is now. I guess as stable as stable as, as sevens are going to be. Yeah. We well, I mean, these are one. a lot of bug fixes and tweaks and updates, and yeah. and keep sending those in. Okay, I'm going to show a video in a sec, but. Um, some neat stuff if you want to uh, do some e-ink with CircuitPython. This is really neat. These are some really cool map things that you can do, GPS yeah. mapping application for LCD displays. Mm -hmm. um, and our editor has a note. Everything is kind of back to school time. If you're doing projects in schools and you use Python or CircuitPython, just tag us on social media, CircuitPython, MicroPython, Python. We'll get in a newsletter. Uh, back to school means coding in Python for a lot of folks. It seems to be the unofficial national language in many school districts. <laughs> and internationally, it is a uh, national language or programming language. So I think we're gonna see even more Python this year. Um, highlights from some live things that we have in the newsletter from the circuit python show so if you want to uh, see an interview with radimir check that out and then just tons and tons of projects so if you want to see game of life little keyboards oh, so cute. Uh, midi keyboards um here's some digit recognition with circuit python raspberry by pico here is a amiga 600 keyboard usb adapter with the raspberry pi pico and circuit python it just goes on and on and on. There is um, a build for uh, the ESP32, S2, N1, 6R8. Um, there is a PyClone using. Ooh, it's a nice PyClone. Yeah, there, there's a lot going on. Um, you know. There's a lot going on. If, if you want to have uh, a pet, help. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> this old dog is like, the, the electronics weigh more than It's not the just cats. <laughs> yeah. Um, so lots going on. But um, by popular request, we have part two of the Raspberry Pi Pico W and Circuit Python. So I'm going to play that now. Hey, what is this? This is a Raspberry Pi Pico W, also known as the Pi Cow. And what it's got running on it is Circuit Python. And behind it, see this code here? Printing on a MAC address scanning for Wi-Fi networks, connecting to an access point. Let's see if this works. Man, that was pretty fast. So this can actually, um, in CircuitPython now, scan for access points in the area. That's working really well, and it can connect and get an IP address. So next up, of course, we want to add sockets and DNS and routes and all that good stuff to um, get Wi-Fi working on the Raspberry Pi Pico W in CircuitPython. And that'll make it really easy for people to make their own IoT projects using all the great drivers available in CircuitPython. Delivered to your inbox every single week. Just go to adafruitdaily.com and sign up there. It's completely separate from your store account. It has nothing to do with anything with your store. Totally new. That's right. Like a fresh world. Yeah. That's interesting. It decided to change the background color pink on that sign. Well, yes. That's cool. Good. Yeah. <laughs> More pink. <laughs> yeah. I think it changed the background color on something. That'll be interesting That's interesting because it's not previewing with that color. Yeah. That's I wonder. Cool. I wonder. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Yeah. It's, so it's all gonna, pink. There's going to be a lot of pink stuff tonight. Okay. okay cool. So, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, all right. That's Python on hardware. To fix that later. Yeah, whatever.